Good afternoon here, Alan Vandenberg. Another episode of EQ for you, episode number 16. Today's episode is entitled, What Happened to My Social Awareness? What Happened to My Social Awareness? We're operating off the idea that 75% of a person's success is not their IQ. So back in February of this year, 2020, crazy year that it is, I uh, launched a book called EQ Kill the Radio Star. It looks something like this right here. Let's see here, there we go. Um, publisher said the best time to launch a book is during a pandemic. That is absolutely not true. <laughs> but I did launch a book and uh, it is available on uh, Amazon uh, at uh, EQ Kill the Radio Star and also too at barnesandnoble.com. Uh, so uh, if you order it off of EQ Kill the Radio Star or alanvandenberg.com, um, you can also get one of these really cool little no drama buttons and also a book button as well So there's a little swag for you there. So today's episode. Here we go. What happened to my social awareness? Social awareness is defined by Daniel Goleman author of emotional intelligence is the Recognizing the feelings of others and how they see the world at work. It's about recognizing uh, Relationships, it's about being able to pick up on the mood in the room about four months into the pandemic here in 2020, during the summertime, my family and I went to a birthday party party for a uh, little young man who just turned two years old. Uh, we were outside, social distancing, you know, all that kind of stuff, and uh, having a great time. Uh, you know, it was really the first social event we had been to in about four months. And so, you know, after a couple hours, you know, we get back in the car and the family got back in the car and all of us all four of us just big, did a big sigh and we and then we began, began having a discussion about how weird that whole party really was and why was it so weird obviously we had not had interactions in several months but uh, as we just we started discussing um, we were just going down this pathway and this conversation of did anybody else pick up on how weird that was one of the things that we picked up on really quickly was is that normally when you get together with a group of people, you talk about you know things like, so what's been going on? Uh, what's happened in the past? What's happened in the future? That kind of thing. Um, that didn't really happen at all. As a matter of fact, many of the conversations went something like this. So what have you been up to? Nothing. Well, so what are you gonna do in the future? Vacations, anything like that? nothing <laughs> it was very very strange so it, 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 I don't know what your experience was like after that very long first shutdown you know when you first got back together with people it's very odd and very awkward the reality of living in shutdowns working from home no vacations very few people interactions was very apparent in that event and very apparent to me um, now that we are still kind of in this weird thing that's going on in 2020. So no one at the party did anything wrong or said anything, you know, odd. It was just we were very aware that there were some social awareness <laughs> issues because, <laughs> because we haven't used our social skills in so long. So EQ skills are like a muscle. And when we don't use a muscle for a long period of time, that muscle becomes very weak and frail. And that is exactly what happened to me and my social awareness muscle. It wasn't as strong as it used to be, that is for sure. So a few weeks ago, I was heading to an in-person meeting with one of the, one of the uh, leaders in the organization. I met him in the hallway and I saw that he had a cup of coffee and I just said out of you know conversation, wow, we should get some coffee. And now to be truthful, I'm not a coffee drinker at all. Matter of fact, most people who know me would say, why would you ever give him coffee? <laughs> and so it wasn't really that I wanted some coffee. I just was kind of in this awkward situation and I wanted to strike up a conversation. And so, um, you know, when we got into his office, he, he, he looked around at me and said, hey, do you, want, do you want some coffee? And I said, no. He said, what, well, do you want some tea? And I said, no. <laughs> and then he said, are you sure? And I said, yeah, I, I'm good. Well, that whole interaction started because I made a comment about coffee that I was just, it was just an awkward experience for me. And then I'm, you know, trying to strike up a conversation and it was just weird. So 
I did not pick up on that on the social awareness that this leader in the organization was not necessarily interested in the coffee for me and getting me coffee. He was trying to do, uh, uh, trying to have a conversation that was connecting with me. And so the idea had nothing to do, um, the idea of getting coffee for, for him to ask me that had nothing to do with the coffee itself. It had to do with, he wanted to have a conversation with me as we walked down the hallway into the break room to get some coffee. And I didn't even pick up on it. My lack of social awareness skills. It's really not as good as it used to be for sure. I had a weak EQ muscle. And my lack of social awareness caused me to miss an opportunity to continue building this relationship with one of the leaders in the organization. That's on me. Um, this leader and I have a great relationship, but it could have been even better from just another conversation that we that I missed over saying, well, I don't need any coffee. After I'd already said, I'd be nice to have some coffee. Strange, strange. Is anybody else doing this kind of thing but me? I'm sure that's happening. So these are certainly strange times for sure with seemingly endless virtual everything. Virtual everything, virtual Zoom, team meetings, WebEx, virtual conferences, oh my goodness, and the chat boxes. It's great that we have this technology and I believe going forward, we will continue to use some of this technology for sure. But technology has definitely affected me personally and my social uh, skills in a negative way. I have, I have lost some of my social awareness skills for sure. How about you? How is your social awareness muscle? Is it strong or is it, you know, not doing as strong as what it used to be? Um, for me, I can see it and I can tell it. Um, so I need, for me, I need to dust off my social awareness skills, keep growing. And so here are a couple of things that I have been doing to try to get back into uh, the idea of a strong social skills muscle for, for me. Um, so first, I've missed in-person meetings and connecting with people. I am a high eye on the disc profile. I, I love interacting with people. I get energy from people. So one step for me as, I, as I'm kind of getting back into the social environment is, is I need to personally slow down, take a deep breath. I feel like sometimes for me, I'm pressing really hard in conversations. It's like, well, I haven't had a conversation in so long, so I'm going to try to catch up uh, for six months worth of not being able to interact with you, I'm gonna try to get it all done in this five minute conversation. Is anybody else doing that but me? <laughs> it's just very awkward. So um, the second thing is, is to understand what other people are, are doing as well. Our friends and coworkers haven't been interacting uh, with people as well. So realizing that they have the same difficult time reconnecting that you are having. So just that awareness. Some people had low social uh, awareness before the pandemic. Imagine what it's like now. <laughs> they were struggling before, now they're really struggling. Um, and <laughs> so let's all see if we can all begin to rebuild our social awareness muscle. And uh, that's what I have for you today. What happened to my social awareness? It, it's not terrible, but it is not as good as what it used to be. And I am continuing to work on it as we get back to this interacting with people thing. Um, so I leave you with this three things. Um, find what you do in life and do that to the best of your ability. Don't allow anyone or anything to steal your joy or your happiness and live life every day because nothing is guaranteed. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of what happened to my social awareness. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Another episode of EQ for you. All right, have a great day. Thanks.